Hello friends, let's discuss the basic mapping using Informatica Power Center. So I just installed Informatica into my machine, Windows 7 machine. Let me open my repository, Power Center repository. So here all of the basic uh, initial setting, uh, I will show you how to do that. So if you access the source, target, uh, the connection string, uh, everything might not be there. We may need to add since it is my first mapping. So I'm just now connecting to the uh, power center designer. Now he, you can see all the project folders and the corresponding uh, objects. I'm going to create a source. In the source analyzer, I'm going to create a source. But see, if there is no connection defined in the source. So I need to add a connection first. So I am trying to build an Oracle database as my source. So select the Oracle. But see, I need to give all these parameter. Basically, this is database parameter, table information, and the constraint. So I will get all this information from my Oracle database. Go to SQL Developer. So here I am using the sample schema called HR. So you, I'm 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 going to get the details of HR. HR schema. Go to the HR. Give the password as HR. Go to the properties. Right click. Go to the properties. See here the connection name as HR, username as HR. So just give here we need to know what the information we need just capture all the all those information from oracle sql developer and give here if you see, if you see the host is local host port number one five two one and the SID XE again username is HR password is HR just click OK now the connection is established see now you can see the connection is in the data source administrator window just click OK so every time you need to select the connection like this I am connected to the database HR and you give the username and the password now username HR and the password is HR Connect. So this is my import table wizard, import table window. Here you can see all the available tables in the Oracle database. I am selecting the HR database called HR schema table employees. I am selecting as my source. Yeah. Now we have the source here in the source analyzer. So this is an employee table from the HR schema. Now I am going to define the target. Go to the yeah, I'm again. My target is an uh, Oracle uh, Oracle table, but uh, I'm just using the same source layout. I'm renaming it as target table. This is uh, showing us that uh, primary key foreign key relation. I'm just removing that. I don't want to create any foreign key relationship in the target table. So why I tracked in the uh, same source into the target means I am keeping the same layout as source and uh, renaming it as employee target table so before I'm sorry before going to uh, connect to the table we need to rename it as because employee table is already exist to the target so rename it as employees underscore TGT so this is my target table okay so let me go and uh, execute the SQL to insert the table in the schema okay so now my SQL statement is processed now we can see the table in the database we'll go to mapping designer and the mapping name I'm giving as m underscore sq underscore map one now we have the source definition and the source qualifier. So source qualifier is automatically uh, come along with the source. 
I'm pulling the target as well in the mapping designer. So target if you see target it is same layout as the source. So I'm just selecting all the columns from the source qualifier to the target. So this is my basic mapping. I'm using only source, target, and a source qualifier. So I just in a validated and saved the mapping. You can see a message down the line, it is valid. Go to the workflow. I need to create a workflow and a task or session a session uh, to run the mapping. Create workflow. Give a name wf underscore sq underscore map one. I'm creating a session for this mapping s underscore sq underscore map one. I'm selecting the same mapping. Give here source. We need to give the connection. There is so there are no connections empty. We need to go to first. We need to create the connections. Go to connections workflow connections relational. Add a new connections here. Select Oracle as your type. Username is HR. Password is HR. Connection string here is X is nothing but database. So I just added a uh, connection for Informatica to access. It's a oracle connection. There is a connection name. I'm just giving it a setup. I'm just closing this window. Going back to the again the session level. Edit the session level. Go to mapping. Now you can see. See now you can see the HR. The connection you can see here. Select the connection as my source connection. Target also I'm selecting the same connection. So my target table will be inserting into that HR schema. And I'm changing the uh, session level properties, target load type normal, and truncate target table option. Just enable that. We'll link the uh, task and the uh, workflow chart and uh, session. Just link it. Save everything, validate everything. Validate the workflow. You can see the message workflow is valid. So we are good to go. Just run the Save the repository and run the start the workflow. I'm just starting this workflow, so this session will execute the mapping which we created. We are pulling some source information to the target without applying any other transformations. So my job is just uh, running now. If you see the status of the job, it is running. My jobs has can be has been completed. We'll go and see the sessions log, how many records processed, how many records affected. So you can see all you can see so many logs you can see for this uh, session run. Let me go and see the target table as well. See employees targets code created through this mapping. If you see, I have see all the data, all the data from the source has been copied to the target. I have uh, around 107 records, I think. Yeah, so see if we see 107 records has been copied to target table. You can also see session logs. A lot of information is available in the session log for, for you to understand and debug how many rows process, how many rows uh, affected, applied, and how many rows rejected, whether the session got completed successfully, everything. So we are done with our first mapping. Thank you.